What's up, everybody? My name is Xavier Rodriguez, and this is my YouTube channel, Bodega Barber. This is my first video on this channel. I do have two videos on another uh, personal channel uh, of me playing some music, the guitar and all that. Uh, but we'll leave that for another time. Um, I pretty much started this channel because um, I feel like I have a lot of grooming advice, tips, uh, and, and just knowledge to share with uh, anybody who comes into the barber shop and young barbers, old barbers, just barbers in general, uh, just to have a conversation. It's my favorite part of this profession is to uh, talk to different people. So I am uh, cooking up some great content for, for you guys. So, you know, make sure to stay tuned, uh, subscribe, hit the notification bell. And, uh, you know, I do promise to give you guys the best content that I could possibly uh, provide you with. So what's that content gonna be? Well. Uh, like I said, it's going to be grooming advice, uh, tips for men, um, as well as just general knowledge um, about the barbering industry for other barbers, and um, just to continue the conversation that, that happens in this chair. Um, and also, uh, I want to talk about how I turned my shed into uh, a barber shop during the COVID-19 pandemic. My job shut down. Uh, I worked in New York City for about five years. And um, when COVID hit, obviously barbers were deemed non-essential. Although a lot of my clients begged to differ at the time. I was getting DMs, texts, calls all over the place for people to, uh, you know, uh, looking to get me to cut their hair and, and trim their beards. But, uh, you know, in, in the first couple of months, I, I, I kind of, you know, kicked back. I had a lot of time to think about what I would do if I wasn't barbering. Now, like I said earlier, uh, I, I am an amateur musician. Um, I play some instruments um, and, and I have played with a band uh, another lifetime ago. But, um, you know, I did do some musical production. Actually, the intro music to this, uh, well, to my channel was done by me. Uh, every sound you hear uh, on there was, was, was made by me. And, and I made that during the, the quarantine. Um, and, and, and been trying to use that for, for, for this YouTube channel. Originally, I had been trying to start off, start off a podcast, which I will do um, eventually down the line um, of this channel. Um, I'm just kind of starting this first. For me, it's more important to have the visuals because I'm a barber uh, as opposed to just audio because um, so much of what we do uh, as barbers is visual. Um, so I'm going to be creating that kind of content. You'll be seeing me post uh, haircuts, videos, uh, haircut tutorials. You'll see me, um, you know, I'll be answering. So if you have any questions, you know, leave them down in the content, any general questions you have about grooming, barbering, um, you know, product, I'll be leaving product reviews, um, uh, equipment, tools and equipment reviews. Um, and you know, uh, what, what I like to do down the line as well is have uh, some of the guys that sit in my chair, um, you know, kind of just sit across from me and, and, and have just general conversation. As you, if, you know, you've sat down on a barber chair, you know, some of the best conversations you've ever had is right on the barber chair. Um, so, you know, I'm really excited about it. I hope you guys are too. Let me uh, get around to showing you my, um, my, my shed. I've had this chair this ML, uh, ML Pater chair. I've had it since 2013 from a barber shop I used to work in way back when. Um, shout outs to Nayamu at Gentleman's Quarters uh, in Teaneck, New Jersey. Um, I had this chair since then and it was just in this shed collecting dust. And when the pandemic hit, I was only cutting my brother's and my father's hair. And I was tired of getting my home full of hair all over the place. As you know, hair travels everywhere. And in the shop, wherever you're at, you come home from your haircut, you take off your clothes, the hair gets all over the place. So I was tired of doing that. And um, I decided to clean this shed up. At first to cut my brothers and, and you know, slowly as things started opening back up, 
you know, some cousins, some friends, and I've pretty much kept it. I'm, I'm lucky enough to have a, a large network of family and friends to where I could have kept, I kept this kind of intimate to, to the people that I know, being that it's my home and it's a shed. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I set this up and, 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 and it's been working out. You know, like I said, I have this chair, I have all, all my equipment, all my tools, I have my towel warmer, I built this shelf here. I got all my towels there. I got a couple of products that I sell to my people. And I got my station over here with all my stuff. Um, and you know, lit, along the line, I'll make a video about the tools I use and the scissors and combs and, and, all, and, all, and all the stuff, all the stuff that goes into, into a barber's uh, uh, arsenal. Um, so yeah, so you know, stay tuned. I'm gonna be creating a lot of good content for you guys. And um, uh, to, to leave you off on this note, I, I decided to do this video or to start this channel in this shed um, because I had been waiting a, a while for my business to get built. I'm actually going to be opening up a, a barber studio suite um, in Phoenix Salon Suites in Little Ferry, New Jersey. So if you're in the Bergen County area, make sure to check me out. Um, and um, you know uh, you can find all the information about that on bodegabarber.com. Um, you can book your appointments and all that. Although uh, that's not going to be for a couple of weeks, we'll be looking to open that up, and the videos and the content that I'll be recording will come from there. Um, but yeah, I don't want to make this video too long and take up too much of your time. I appreciate you if you've been watching this long, and uh, yeah, stay tuned. Peace, love, and hair grease.